Welcome back guys, this is Luke with LP Cubing, and today we have another unboxing from the cubicle. Alright, so what we have in here is the Yushin 5x5. I ordered a couple other things to you that are in here, but what we're going to be talking about is the Yushin 5x5. So I also ordered a cubicle bag. Um, Here's the Yushin 5x5, and so I ordered some DNM 37. Okay, um, here is the DNM 37, and a nice big cubicle bag. Alright, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and get on with the main event, which is the Yushin 5x5. Looks like we're gonna have to cut it here. There we go. So here it is, and the reason why I got this cube was because I've heard that this is for its price, which is only about $16 or $17, I can't remember what. It's a very, very excellent 5x5, one of the best on the cheaper end of cubes. So, let's go ahead here and do first turns. Oh, oh okay, um, that was kind of weird what just happened there. Uh, it just had a big lockup and a catch-up. But wow, this turns, actually. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm noticing, like when I'm trying to do a sexy move, this layer really, really wants to come out like that. I have no idea what I just did there. All right, so we are having a bit of a problem. I want to go ahead to fix whatever I just did there off camera. And what I noticed is when I was performing algorithms, these two outer layers really wanted to turn, and we just had a big lockup. I just wanted to get that on camera. Uh, doing that, I lost track of... Uh, what I was doing. But the actual turning quality of the cube alone is extremely nice. But that is my one main concern, is that it just has terrible stability. Yeah, look at this. It is really locking up and catching a ton. And it, these layers just want to turn so much when I'm trying to do outer layer turns. It's really a pain. I don't feel like I can really do algorithms on it. There's also um, a bit of lube on the surface, and that also makes it a pain to turn and do logs on. Yeah, but as you can just see there, this layer really, really wants to turn. So no, I really wasn't expecting this to be the greatest 5x5 ever. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be because it is more of a cheaper puzzle, but I, I really am concerned about the lockups because I just, yeah, right there, big, big lockup. I, I really just can't do algorithms on it without like having an extremely good grip on these other four layers if we're doing like for example just R and U moves here if I'm not gripping these other four layers I can't do algorithms quickly at all you, you can just see how incredibly long and slow this is taking me and it it's just so unstable I don't know it's really not a pleasant experience to turn at all I'm gonna go ahead and turn it a bit more kind of break it in and then I'm going to talk about it a little more. Alright, so I turned it a little bit more, and after getting used to it, I was able to do algorithms a bit more successfully on it. And the turning quality alone is very, very excellent, and it is much better than I even expected for just a $17 5x5. But the lockups and catches are just so bad, it, it, it causes a lot of concern. Also, these center caps... Um, this almost looks like a Zanchi center cap, but the center caps want to pop off a lot too during solving. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in checkerboard and we'll just see how it turns. Alright, so here it is in a checkerboard and turning it, you know, just alone like that without doing any algorithms, it, it's incredibly smooth and I'm very, very impressed with it and I'm very, very happy with it. But when I'm trying to turn quickly and efficiently, just it's it's just not happening everything wants to move all of these other layers especially these inside ones but even other layers like the U layer and the L layer um, if I even just try to do a sexy move here it's like ridiculous if I'm not holding it like this and doing it on an angle I don't feel like I can do it quickly at all so I went and turned it even more just to develop a better opinion on it and after getting used to it and, you know, figuring out proper ways to hold it and stuff, the lockups are not really that bad. 
and I actually didn't go ahead and do a corner cutting test. So it is a high roller cube, so of course it's not going to corner cut like 45 degrees or anything. But uh, yeah, not really. Will it even do that? Okay, no, not really any corner cutting. But it is a higher order, like, I wouldn't really say a budget cube because it still is $17, but in like just an average price range. But yeah, it doesn't really have great corner cutting. And it is a higher order cube also, and higher order cubes can be, you know, they're hard to make really stable and perfect. They're real, I don't, there really is no such thing as a higher order cube. And this cube just has a really, really awesome feel to it. It's got a bit of a crunchy feel. I know that uh, a lot of cubers don't like that, but I actually like a little bit of a crunchy and a sandy feeling. I just think that it makes it pleasant to turn. But yeah, this cube does feel very, very nice to turn. And I think that after I solve on it a couple more times, just turn it a lot and get used to it, that it will be a very good cube. It does come free lube, and it it feels a bit dry, I guess. Um, there is a lot of lube on the outside of it. Um, it is tensioned pretty tight, but uh, I'm probably not going to mess with the tensions because it does just feel good how it is. But it, it, it feels ready to go pretty much out of the box. I might put a little bit of lube in it, but not a lot. I know this was a bit of a short unboxing, but I really wanted to get this cube, and there's not really a whole lot to say about this. For being just $17, I definitely would recommend this cube if you're looking for a nice cheap 5x5 to get. Putting the stability issues off to the side, and they really get better after you just get used to it, it really is a very excellent puzzle. And once again, I would definitely recommend it. As always, I will put a link to purchase this puzzle in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next video.